Yo, 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 what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Most Ballin. Here we are. We're going to be talking about salary cap. A lot of you guys keep asking me to do this. I did it once earlier season one, but now I don't do it no more. We can try to make it happen. The salaries get changed three times a week based on how much people use certain cards. And it's tough making a salary cap team. The team I was using over the weekend was great. It was winning. It was doing well. I wake up today and basically they're 4,000 over the limit and I have to redo everything. I have to change it up. I was rocking with Nick Young. He was killing it. He was doing things I've never seen done out here. But I had to take him out because 4,000 is a lot for me personally. I know for others it's not so what i decided to do is i'm going to start tweeting it out you guys can send me your new salary cap updated lineups and we can try to help each other maybe there's cars that we don't notice we don't see and it can help us in the long run for example gary payton and shrimpy shrimp is 700 gary's 800 it makes this dude an amethyst player he might not be the craziest dude in the world but he is solid to say the least he's got great badges he's 610 and he can run the three and just honestly the stats are there like it's not bad card for 700 gary can run when he becomes a ruby he's great defensively obviously if you like to run your offense through your point guard maybe not the best point guard to run so you can go a different route we'll take a look at other people's lineup so we can see those routes yesterday i played some dude who just ran wilt he had a five man with wilt and that's all he did and he prays he doesn't get hurt like some people like to put all their salary in one guy i'm the type that i like lower guys what i usually recommend is three guys with 300 salaries and then run a 10 man usually like the bench runs the beginning of that second half maybe the end of the first just a little bit and then your starters close out the game that's usually how it runs obviously it depends on matchups so I really like Gerald Wallace. He's been running for me for 2,400. Maybe I look otherwise. I don't recommend Brent for everyone. He's kind of not for everyone. I like him a lot personally. I've been running Jaron Jackson forever, ever. He's bad. He's got shoe. He's all that. He's been my guy. Jabari's been really, really great for me always. I'm loving this heat filling him for real and jack sigma and that gives me the leeway to run a guy like gilbert arena so i'm not really loving yet i'm still trying to figure it out so now me looking at this tweet with you guys i might be able to see a team that actually works really well and that could help us along the way and we'll start off with jamie's team jamie's team right here he's got gp and shrimp as well he's running Aiden and Jermaine okay two bigs low salaries kind of thing we're doing and he's got a new duo that we don't rock he's got two duos off the bench actually he's running the Mike Conley and Daquan Cook and then he's running Terry okay Terry for 3,000 off the bench to lead that unit and he's running the Swifty Warwick duo that a lot of people run in a lot of different places because they're very low budget low maintenance and they can play a little bit they're not too crazy not too good but i'm definitely looking at that mike conley and thinking he's 1800 so i can take him instead of gilbert he's pretty good defensively for sure and he can shoot a little and then you take daquan cook who's 400 that brings me down so much to be able to pick up somebody else that's a really good idea i've seen one person use it i played against one guy and that's that's solid i'm definitely might give that a shot next up we got yo yo's team he's got Cade cunningham he's running covington with kyle corver i'm mad we can't see the actual like how much everyone costs obviously if you have that ruby honest he's always gonna be a cheat code definitely a guy i love that everyone's running the gary payton duo if you haven't tried it out definitely give it a shot dylan brooks a guy i thought of using instead of brent berry he could shoot he's a great three and d guy great defense can light it up and he's running Jermaine and Boogie. Boogie's been on the salary cap team a lot. Personally, never tried Jermaine O'Neal, but so far, two guys using him. So we might have to take a look at that moving forward. But I wonder how much Cunningham costs. Let's actually double check it because he's a top tier SG and he's 4,000. So he went top heavy with his PG. I know a lot of people do that. And that's not a bad decision at all. Next up, we got Vinny's team. So Vinny's running Michael Ray Richardson. He always recommends him to me. He's 1,500. He's running Julius Irving at the two. And then look at the play-in tournament guy, Josh Green, who costs 800 as a diamond. That's kind of a cheat code right there. Some of the playing guys are definitely cheat codes. Look into that. They lowered their salaries. So see who you can use. Remember, at the end of the day, this is all based on how you rock, how you play. He's running Cliff Robinson, 4,000, and Jaron Jackson Jr., 2,500. That's his guy. That's my guy. We both love Jaron Jackson in this game. He's been great. He's running Gary Payne without shrimp, 
just Gary. He's running Kobe. Kobe's top tier in salary cap since the day this game came out. Definitely top tier. Otto Porter brings him down because of the 500. And he got Jabari and Ibaka. I've been running Ibaka a lot too. I've been like on and off with the Ibaka. I was running him before I added Sigma back to the lineup. But definitely a solid team. A lot of guys that could shoot and play defense. Like he's well balanced and big point guard with great defense definitely helps. Next up, we got a man using Gilbert and AK. So two 2,000 guys. Then he's got Harrison Barnes for 1,800. Never seen anyone using Harrison. That's actually solid. He's got Larry Hughes. Seen people try that, use that. So that's cool. 1,800 as well. Then Mitch Richmond's very cheap. I didn't know Mitch was 800. That might be a steal. He's running Shrimp without Gary Payne or Gary's there? Oh, Gary's all the way at the end of the bench. I see how his team is kind of set up. It's all over the place, but it works out. So he's not even using 300 guys. He's just using guys at the end of the day. So he's using a whole 13 man. I don't know how he made that fit at all, but it fit. It works and it looks good, man. Jermaine is back up center. He's using that Ruby Rudy. Rudy's solid, definitely solid. And honestly, a great, great different team. I've never seen someone running Derek Anderson and stuff like that. So I kind of mess with the difference. I'm not sure if this team still works salary cap wise, but if it does, this is probably one of the best overall teams. He's got JaVale West unselled, Rocco, Corver, and Gilbert starting. That's like, that's a really good team. And then Nick Young off the bench with Tim Thomas and Jabari, Steve Francis. All those guys are great, great guys for this salary cap mode. You guys need to start sending me these with the salaries showing so I know that they work without like not knowing. JaVale's a 1300. Unselled is only 600. So maybe that's like not crazy. But Nick Young is 4000 right now. And like I said, that's the reason I took him out. But I do agree with Rose that Nick Young is beyond fire in that mode. I've been having so much fun with him. We go on to Gio's team. Gio running Gil and Gerald Wallace. A lot of people running Gil. He's got the shrimp duo. Mike Finley. First Mike Finley sighting. He's a thousand. Very, very cheap amethyst when it comes to salary cap. I think about it sometimes. He's running a nine man, not a 10. That's also a great option. And then you know how I feel about the bigs. All great with Giannis, Jackson, Jabari. Honestly, most of our teams are kind of looking on the same page. And I like that. And last but not least, the last person to send me their team was Josh. He's running Baron Davis, Josh Richardson duo. That's a pretty solid duo in itself. And it's pretty cheap. Baron's 1400, Jason Richardson's 1600. So that's 3000 for the two Emmys. That's a solid one. He's running Ben Simmons for 1800. Interesting. I didn't even know he was 18. Kobe's out there with Iggy. Iggy's really, really cheap and he can ball. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They updated Iggy to 1300. It's crazy. He's usually way, way cheaper than that. He's running Cam Whitmore, Giannis, and Miles Turner. Honestly, this team is solid because of like the bigs and all that and their prices. I would probably get rid of Iggy though for 1300. I don't know if that's worth it. You might be able to do better in general, but overall, the team is solid. I like it. I like the difference with the Baron Davis, Jason Richardson. I might look into that as well with the two Amis. I think me personally though, I'm gonna try out the Mike Conley duo first. I think I have to do that. So let me see if I can make a lineup with Mike Conley. He might actually be in an exhibition. Oh, he's not. Nice, nice. I don't have him in exhibition. He's still here. So let's add Cook as well. I might end up taking out Barry completely. I haven't been feeling him as much as I usually do. So look how cheap our budget is right now. We can go with the star. I don't even need Gerald Wallace anymore if I really want to. I can probably go top heavy. We could literally use maybe Nick Young. Um, I gotta see, I gotta see. And we can. I could literally sneak Nick Young in here. And then if I did that, because I don't like the defense on the team, I would actually just use a small forward that can play defense. So I'd go maybe Dylan Brooks and take Dylan off the bench and start Nick Young. And then this team, I think, looks a lot, lot better than the team I was running personally because I got Nick in here. I don't have to run Nick. I can figure it out a different way. He just makes the game fun for me personally. I've been enjoying it a lot. Now, one other thing I will note, I noticed it on some of the teams. Like, for example, Josh's team, he's running Iggy, but I noticed he doesn't have a shoe, even though I'm sure that Iggy's been with him for a minute. Make sure y'all put shoes on your salary cap, guys. I haven't for the new guys. I've been trying them out. But main salary cap guys always got shoes because I need that extra boost. So I have a lot of guys in tryouts right now. He's been a salary cap dude. Jabari, JJJ, Nick Young, for example. I already knew he was going to be here. If I'm going to keep these guys, I'm definitely putting shoes on them. You take that extra boost. 
maybe a couple badges badges with the duos i'm not like they're too iffy for me at the end of the day but regardless i'm loving salary cap as overall as a mode i hope this can help us every couple days if we do this to help us make our teams make sure you follow me on twitter if you want to send me your lineups for the next one make sure they're updated and make sure you send me with the salary caps it makes it a lot easier for all of us so i don't have to go back and look at it and with all that said i have a no money spent video dropping a little later today it's a good one i'll catch you guys later it's been your boy most y'all know the drill and balling out